I guess my question is the balance. When do you go, I'm really going to fight for this project because I really have to tell this story? Mm. You know, people bring an ele element into the room, a quality, a, a character into the room, and often that's in the film. I always liken it to the fact that I can never work out if I'm the birth mother or the surrogate. You know, I can never work out if actually... That's a great do you know thing. what I mean? I never yeah. can work out if I'm just carrying someone else's baby or if it's my baby and I give it to someone else. And what I do think is that, you know, I just hope that if it, if it, if it is the former, then whoever adopts it, i.e. the director, brings it up well and looks after it yeah. and gives it the right influences. Are there things that you kind of go, if you fight for or you don't fight for, and you go, OK, well, you've rejected this, it's fine, I'm going to use this another time and I'm going to keep this for another day? Yeah, I do. And I, I also have this thing, which is sort of stupid, but I always uh, have one line from the last film and the next film. I think one of the ways to survive in the industry is keeping yourself as open and as ready for the fight and the resolution and the conversation as you can. But I also think that through life you get your heart broken in every way. You get your heart broken in life, you get your heart broken professionally. And it's just that question of, it's so annoying because I didn't want to come here and ask you a question, but how does it feel being a female mm. writer and what does it mean writing all these films and plays about women but it's so important mm. to tell those stories you know I th I, I've said this before but a few years ago someone said are you are you a feminist playwright and I went oh I don't like to think of myself as that. I just like <laughs> to think of myself as a playwright well yeah of course I'm a feminist playwright because what does it mean to be a feminist it just means equal means equal in every way I want to write my experience and I feel that if it's not been done why can't I do that mm. why shouldn't I do that and I feel the same about the colour of my skin. I don't want someone to instantly go, you're a black woman, so therefore you have a black experience. No, I have a human experience. Mm. And in order for people to see that, I have to create a world mm. where you see those characters going through those human experiences. Mm. You do have a responsibility to it, but also it's just about good storytelling and what buzzes you and what drives you. And I'm quite buzzed about that at the moment. I'm quite buzzed about what it means to be a woman getting older. Whatever you're gonna do, do it, because Part of the thing is that um, it's what's relevant to you, and it's relevant to my kids. Yeah. But I'm not that relevant to my kids, you know, and that's the way it should be. You know, but you, you, you're relevant. You're more relevant. You're just, a, you know, you, you're a decade and a half behind me. So that, that's what's great. It's the next generation has to come up because they have to be telling the new stories and they have to be engaging in the new form. And I will learn from you because I'll go, God, that's really clever. But you know, I also, it's a bit like dad dancing. You know, I may have to accept that I'll always do my version of dad dancing and not try and get too hip for the kids. So the world is changing. Yeah. You know, someone should be snapping at my heels. Somebody should be better than me behind me. First question for you is I, I work a lot on continuing dramas and it's well documented that's sort of where you started out. How did you learn your trade on those shows? What did you take yeah. from those shows? Um, the biggest thing I took from working on The Archers and on Coronation Street and a number of other shows was discipline.